Hello, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishal. I hope you all are doing well. Many a time, gate aspirants used to ask me one question, uh, especially gate CSC aspirants, that which of the subjects I should focus more and which of the subjects I can skip for my gate preparation. Uh, because many a times, many aspirants, uh, they don't want to prepare fully for the gate syllabus, full gate syllabus. Uh, maybe they don't have time, uh, especially those students who are there in final year of their of their BTEC or maybe who is working and uh, preparing parallelly. So they don't have, you know, that much of time so that they can dedicate fully for the whole gate syllabus. So they have this common question that which subset of the subjects which is very important, where the weightage of marks is more, uh, so that they can prepare for that subset and they can gather as much as possible marks. Now, initially this question, I, I was not comfortable answering because personally, uh, I haven't done this kind of preparation during my uh, gate preparation time. I have prepared fully for it. And also, I am not someone who is keep track of every year's gate pattern, like which subject is having how many marks every year's gate CSC paper. I don't have that data. Now then, you know, I, I suddenly realized that in today's world, uh, AI is doing this kind of analysis for you. You know, human are not doing manually this kind of analysis. You just ask any AI tool, they will they will do this this kind of analysis for you within a within a minutes. I mean, I mean, they will they will, they will, they will explain it quite well. Uh, they can even suggest you that what you should do for the next year gate paper uh, for gate CSE. So that's why what I have done is that I have taken three popular uh, AI tool or large language model or LLM tools. Uh, I have asked them to analyze the previous uh, five to six years of gate paper and let me know that, you know, what is the pattern that is being followed. That means which subject is having more weightage uh, in terms of marks, uh, in terms of questions coming into the gate paper and which subjects are moderate and which subjects is having lower weightage. So based on that, uh, they have given me a very detailed explanation about the past data, uh, what is the average marks given to each of these 10 subjects and also which subjects you have to prepare uh, for, the, for the next year gate. So that detail I am going to share in this particular video. So if you are someone who is preparing for next year gate, I mean gate 2026, and if you want to know that which subjects are important for your preparation, which subjects are not that important for your preparation, which is having a moderate weightage, this video is for you. So please stay tuned till end. And before starting the video, as you always say, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly. And don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video. Without further ado, let's get into today's video. Yeah, so basically what I did was, as I was, as I was mentioning in the intro part of this video, that I have taken three AI tool or large language model. The first one is Claude.ai, the next one is ChatGPT, and the third one is Google Gemini. So first what I did was that I uploaded all the previous six years Gate CAC paper to this Claude.ai. So these are the different papers, like 2020, there was only one paper. 2021, there are two papers. 2022, 2023, again, there was one paper. And in 2024, 2025, there are two papers. So all the papers I have uploaded into Claude.ai and I have asked him to analyze uh, the, the pattern. And the very nice thing is that it has, it has returned me a very uh, nice uh, analysis dashboard and it has generated a HTML page for that. Now, uh, first of all, let me tell you that what are the, uh, you know, on average, how the data looks like and what are the subjects which is having uh, different different average marks. So, for example, programming a data structure, on average, it, it takes 12 to 15 marks in any gate paper, gate CSE paper. Algorithm contains 8 to 12 marks. Database management system contains 8 to 10 marks. Computer networks, 8 to 10 marks. Operating system, 6 to 8 marks. Uh, theory of computation, automated theory, 6 to 8 marks. Compiler design, 4 to 6 marks. Computer organizational architecture, 6 to 8 marks. Digital logic, 4 to 6 marks. Mathematics, uh, 8 to 12 marks. And uh, general aptitude, that is 15 marks. Now, this is kind of the bar plot. For example, programming data structure, as I said, it will be 12 to 15 marks. But on average, it takes, if you take last 6 years data, it will be average marks will be 13.5. For algorithm, average marks is 10. For uh, DVMS, average marks is 9. Uh, network also, computer network also, average marks is 9. OS, average is 7. Automata, average is 7. Uh, compiler, average is 5. Architecture, average is 7. 
digital average is 5, mathematics average is 10, and general aptitude average is 50, 50. Now from this data, uh, what is my suggestion is, as you can see, programming data structure algorithm on average kind of uh, it's carrying 24 to 25 marks like 13.5 and 10 like 23.5 you can you can consider that the 24 or 25 marks you're getting from programming data structure and algorithm next from mathematics you can expect on average uh, 10 marks uh, though here you know they have mentioned that it will be 8 to 12 maximum you can get 10 or 12 marks but on average you can expect 10 marks from mathematics and from aptitude parts you can expect 15 marks so these are the four subjects that is kind of must do I mean, aptitude, mathematics, and programming data algorithm, uh, you know, you have to prepare for because uh, if you add these marks, 25 plus 15 plus 10, it is 50. So 50% is coming from these four subjects, programming, data structure, algorithm, mathematics, and general aptitude. Now, among the rest subjects, the rest technical subjects, the most important is DBMS and network. Because as you can say, DBMS and networking average marks is 9. So these are now the next two, uh, you know, uh, subjects which is having the more weightage. Now the next category is OS, which is having average mark 7. POC or automata theory, which is has average uh, mark 7. And architecture, which is having average mark 7. So these three subjects, OS, computer architecture or organization, and theory of computation or automata theory, they are having on average 7 marks. And the least important subjects are compiler design and digital logic, which on average is having five marks in the last six years of uh, gate, uh, gate examination. So this is how actually the data looks like. And even from here also you can see, these first two, uh, they are having the more, more weightage, then uh, mathematics and general aptitude, then DBMS computer network, then OS, TOC and computer organization, and then compiled design and digital logic. So from this plot that AI, I have got to know this pattern. Now let's look into the other two uh, AI tool. Next tool is, uh, or, or you know, we all know about this tool that is ChatGPT. So I have asked a simple question here. I didn't upload, uh, you know, PDF files of previous courses but here because uh, that is a paid service that you have to take and I don't have access to GPT-5. So that's why I couldn't upload the papers here. But I just asked that, can you say the different subject what it is called gate CAC and give a overview of those subjects. So here also you can see now the approximate weightage of subject kind of the trend it has predicted. General aptitude around 15 marks. Uh, mathematics is 12 to 15 marks. Then the next is programming data structure that is 12 to 15 marks. Algorithm is 6 to 9 marks. Now Claude actually predicted is 10 marks but it's saying uh, 6 to 9 marks. Next, next is TOC, OS and computer network which I mentioned in, 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 the, in, the, in, in the case of Claude AI that these are the subjects which is coming in the in the middle tier. So first four will be this one: general aptitude, engineering, mathematics, programming, data structure, and algorithm. Next will be uh, automata theory, operating system, and computer network. Next is uh, you know computer organization, DBMS, and finally digital logic and compiler design, which is having the least amount of uh, marks. Also, it has given uh, the detail about the last year data, GET CAC 2025. In here also you can see now uh, aptitude is having 15, engineering mathematics is 13, programming data structure 15, uh, algorithm 7. So these four are most important. Then OS network DBMS is having 9, 10, and 7 marks. Next is uh, uh, you know computational theory or theory automata, uh, which is having 6, digital logic is having 6, compiler designing 4, and architecture is having 8. So kind of similar pattern you are you are trying to you know understand that. This aptitude, mathematics, programming, data algorithm is the most important subject, which is carrying, I think here also they are carrying almost 50 marks, uh, 15, 15, 30, and 13, 7, 20. So these four is having the 50% of the marks. Then OS, networking, DBMS, uh, you know, architecture, they are having more weightage. Then TOC, TOC sometimes is having more, sometimes is having less. Then TOC, digital logic and compiler design. I have the same question to Google Gemini, that what is the overview from the last six years of data, if you can analyze. So they have also predicted the same, uh, you know, uh, there are three, first of all, there are, you know, uh, there are three major sections, general aptitude, engineering mathematics and the core computer subject. And they said that general aptitude is having 15%, like 15 marks, engineering mathematics is having 13 marks, 13%, and rest 7 to 2 marks is coming from the core computer science subjects. And rest 7 to 2%, how it is distributed. First one is programming data structure, uh, 10 to 12 marks. 
algorithm is 7 to 10 marks. So again, the same pattern you are kind of getting repeated. Next is computer network, DBMS, OS, which is having around 6 to 8 or 8 to 10 marks. Next, digital logic, computer organization, POC, and compiler designing, which is having around, like digital logic having, having around 5 to 7 marks. Architecture is having 7 to 9 marks. Now, TOC 7 to 9, compiler design 4 to 6. And yeah, these two I already explained. So basically here also the same pattern is coming that, uh, you know, engineering, mathematics, general aptitude, you have to focus more. At the same time, programming, data structure, algorithm also you have to focus more. But from the other subjects, OS is important, computer network, DBMS is important, uh, computer architecture also something that is important and POC is important. So these will have, have, this will have uh, weightage in the middle tier and the least important subject is digital logic and compiler design. So yeah, that's the result and I hope from this result you got to know about the trend or the pattern of last 5 to 6 years of gate CC papers. So programming data structure, algorithm, mathematics and general aptitude, this is the most important four subjects which will carry almost 50% of your gate paper. So if you prepare well for these four subjects and if you do well in these four subjects, you will be securing 50% of your total 100 marks. Now, next four important subjects is DDA, DBMS, OS, networking, computer networking, and computer architecture and organization. So, this will carry on average eight to nine marks. So, you can expect around 35 or 36 marks from these four subjects. Now, the last three subjects is theory of automata or theory of computation, digital logic, and compiler. So, among them, you will be getting uh, I think around 25 marks will be coming from these three subjects, but among them, uh, you'll be getting sometimes seven to eight marks from theory of automata and the rest from uh, these two subjects, digital logic and compiler design. I hope this pattern that you got to know from this AI tools, thanks to this AI tool, uh, the result it has shown you. Now it's very clear for you that which are subjects you should focus more from where you can expect more weightage of marks than the other subjects. So I hope now in your preparation, you can focus on these three categories of uh, subjects. First one is which is having the most number of weightage. Second one is coming in the middle tier, which is having a moderate weightage. And there are three subjects which is having the least number of weightage in terms of mass. So I hope this video will be really helpful for all the gate CC aspirants. So, you know, try to prepare uh, following this trend or pattern so that you can, you can maximize your marks in the final gate examination. So if you have liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with other people. If you have any question or query related to uh, get CAC preparation, let me know in the comment section. I try to answer them. And if you want to make this kind of analysis video, suppose you are not from get CAC, you are you are preparing for some other paper. If you if you want me to prepare the similar kind of video for other streams also, then let me know. I'll try to make another another video for each of the departments. So whichever department you want to make me, let me know. I'll I'll make a video on that. And finally, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly. That's it about this video. I'll be in this video. Until then, bye.